Hello everyone, my name is Emily Lazare from Lazana Agro Limited and right here we do Black Soldier Fly, Love It Farm. Our products include Lavi, uh, we have brass, we have pesticides, and we have eggs and pupa as well. Black soldier fly farming comes into play as a substitute for soybean and silver fish. Owing to the large areas that we need to cultivate soya bean, we decided to farm black soldier fly because, like you can see in the background, it uses minimal space and gives you a lot of product. This alone here has the capacity to give us at least one ton per week. The other product that comes out of this black soldier fly larvae farming is the dead flies. The dead flies, the exoskeleton of the dead flies has an antibiotic. This antibiotic can be crushed in the animal feed and helps the animals to resist certain bacteria which you don't find in silverfish and soya. With silverfish, there is a lot of depletion in the lakes. Much as the protein content is more like the same with black soldier fly, the only issue is the fact that it is not sustainable, yet 50 years to come, we can still farm black soldier larvae. So to feed our black soldier fly larvae, we collect waste from markets, from restaurants, schools, different ceremonies, from the breweries, that is brewery waste, from uh, palm oil making companies, the cocoa peat, all that waste we use in feeding our larvae. When we bring it to the farm, we apply different portions to our basins, like you can see, and within a period of five to seven days, we get fully matured larvae. Aside from the larvae, the waste also creates frass. Frass is a fertilizer that is organic. We use this frass in our gardens. We have a maize garden. And uh, it has, naturally, it has good ammonia, it has nitrogen, it has phosphorus and potassium for our gardens. On top of this, our frass can be soaked 24 hours in 20 liters of water, one kilogram to 20 liters of water, to create a good pesticide for mostly vegetables and maize gardens. So through this project, we are making various impacts on various sectors. One is the environment. The different uh, places we collect waste from, say the markets, the schools, the restaurants, and we bring and feed to our larvae, help the environment not to emit greenhouse gases, which would rather, which would instead cause global warming and climate change. Secondly, is the nutrition. Nutrition, when you use black soldier fly larvae, the proteins are way better, more affordable, more sustainable compared to soybean, which, is, which requires a lot of land, and silverfish, which is getting depleted in the lakes. Thirdly, on the social impact, we are employing youth that collect this garbage from the different areas, bring it here, and we pay them a small premium for this waste. In order to scale up this business, we need support. Support which one includes transport from the different areas, from the different kitchens, the different uh, schools, the different markets to bring to our farm. Because without substrate, we cannot feed the larvae. Secondly, we need machinery for faster production. And thirdly, in order to sustain our circular economy right here to feed our chicken to feed our fish down in the ponds to fertilize our maize we need to bring in more substrate so that the whole cycle is kept in constant motion and thirdly this is a very big and sustainable idea for youth very many youth are coming here for trainings and we need more trainings that are funded to help the youth do something for themselves.